Well, I didn't forgot to put this on. Doesn't matter who's in the front arm. And sometimes it does in some games. It just depends on the uh, internal systems of it. Let's double back. There is uh, an NPC I can talk to up here. I was just imagining that's the way I had to go. And But the coast really does go around a long way, so... I thought I saw a person there on the map. Maybe the enemies... No, there he is on the map again. Uh, we have to go around to him, I guess. The money in this game is a little dramatic. I'm a lot richer than I anticipated it will be at this point. Troubles. Every part of Greece is troubled these days. Sure, the centaurs and the satyrs are bad, but for us, the walking dead are worse. Every night they're at the city walls. We wake to more farmland burned and cattle slain. Hmm. The dead raise their hand against the living, and still the gods do not hear our prayers. The dead raise their hand against the living. Yeah, you think the gods would take issue with the dead uh, encroaching on their territory, you know, being cunts. Why these monsters came or what they want? Eh, nobody knows. What am I really afraid of? I'll tell you. I'm afraid I'll survive when these monsters have had their way with Greece and raise my family hiding in caves or cowering deep in the woods. I have heard news from almost every city-state in Greece. Beasts everywhere! Houses burning! Is there any hope left? Magara will hold out. We have warriors. We can fish if we can't farm. Beyond the walls, I've heard rumors of bigger beasts. Cyclops. Would the walls of Magara hold out against one of those? No, don't worry. No one will harm you. Nobody will. Magara has always been my home. 
I will stay here, come what may. Magara has always been my home. Muse, grant me voice, voice and memory to tell about the first of wars, the oldest battle in the times before the gods had come to rule, when they were bowed beneath the heavy titan hand. The ill-formed titans, great in strength and cruelty, oppressed the gods, their offspring, until at last, behind the leadership of lightning-wielding Zeus, the gods took arms against the Titan Kings. It was the first war, and the greatest. Oceans were moved, and mountains overturned. Gods and Titans struggled for dominion, might and cunning making victors first of one, and then another. Until at last, wearied in their age, the Titans lost the war. The gods threw down their foes beneath the earth into the pit of Tartarus. Except for one, the strongest and cruelest of the Titans. And he, they chained beneath a mountain for revenge. Then Zeus was king of gods and ruler over all the world. Ah. Uh, yes, fantastic. Uh, I was looking at my phone. By the looks of you, traveler, your feet are sure and firm. Hey, on eyes off my feet. Well, mine are just as sure aboard a seabound vessel. Oh, there's bigger boats that come here. Soldiers and traders from the corners of the earth. But before them, my grandfather's father sailed fishing boats in Megara. Fishermen. That is my trade, that is my life. It's dangerous these days. Sirens, stupefying sailors. And now, according to that fellow, Kraken beasts big enough to eat a ship. Think of it. Helicopter pilot finds strange monolith in remote parts of Utah. State employee spotted mysterious metal structure amid red rocks while counting bighorn sheep. At first, when the monster showed up, I didn't worry. Take to the sea, I thought. Uh, but there are strange beasts in the water, too. Nowhere is safe. Hmm. Damn it. I was going to respond to a comment here with a gif. They just... Okay. Google it. Make us whole. Someone, uh... Reference to Dead Space. I still have to get onto Dead Space 3. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm sorry, this is just the level I've gotten to. <laughs> I also kind of want to play Total War, but I've just finally finished with my RTS videos that I had to edit. Ugh. The truth is, I've just arrived here myself. I was on a warship bound for Athens when Siren Song drove the crew mad. Unguided, our ship smashed against some rocks. I clung to a board and somehow washed ashore along with plenty of other timber and much of our cargo, which was arms and gold. We washed ashore in an alcove on the Halcyon coast, which lies towards Delphi. The ship was bearing gold and weapons to Athens. The chests that split now belong to Poseidon, but a few washed ashore. Old sailors tell tales of sirens singing to passing ships with voices so beautiful it drives the men mad. When the ship hits the rocks, they feast on the sailors' bones. But I never thought they were more than old sailors' yards. I'd have returned to the beach, but strange and dangerous creatures roam the sands. I barely escaped alive. The Halcyon coast lies between Megara and Delphi, but if you're looking for those chests, they're not in plain sight. The Halcyon coast lies between Megara... Alright, uh... You are... Welcome, welcome! A fine warrior like yourself, I'm sure I've got just what you're looking for. You don't, actually.
No, I need the health regen. Since we don't have the other thing, I need the health regen to compensate. Nothing else? Sword and shield, not your style? I think you'll find what you're looking for here. My pleasure. What have you got? Formula. Okay, I need a formula. You don't sell any, do you? No, not that I see. Okay. So, Leonidas sent you. He must have his hands full if he didn't come himself. Monsters are rampaging all over Greece, not just in Sparta. Perhaps the Oracle can reveal the source behind all these attacks. The Oracle requires an offering when one requests an audience. Take a branch from the sacred olive tree to the Oracle of Delphi, the greatest of the oracles. It was going to be the most accurate. From the world over, seek her prophecies. You will find the sacred olive tree in a grove on the road to Delphi, above the Helicos Pass. Take care, warrior. Uh, ooh, fantastic, at long last. Uh, a king te wanted to test all of the oracles in Greece. The story goes. And so he he did the mo ra most random thing he could think of, and sent out s messengers to ask the oracle, what was he presently doing? And all the oracles give a different answer, with the oracle of Delphi being entirely accurate. He was boiling a tortoise, a tortoise in a copper pot with its shell on. Everyone's talking about the undead, the living bones that attack us. Many in Megara whisper rumors, but I know the truth. I know where they come from. I crept out one night just before dawn and followed quietly. There is a ruined city built by the Mycenaeans long ago that we call Old Eleusis. It was there they went. There I followed them and watched them pour into the old stone gates. Impressive. Yes. I found out where the rest of the dead go. But there are so many. Who would dare go in there? Yes, I've pulled the Lucis. That reminds me of an old myth they tell of the ruins. They say it was ruled by three brothers, eh, three princes. But in their hubris, they offended the god Apollo. He cursed them never to enter Hades, but to walk all the Lucis as restless and dead. The three princes each mastered one form of warcraft, the old tales say. Polypus bore sword and shield, Minon rained deadly arrows on their foes, and Aristeus worked magic of ice and lightning with a staff in his hand. Could the old tales be true? Could it be that the three brothers marshaled the undead against us? Could the old tales be true? I think I can just use throwing weapons. Like, it just. I wonder, could I just stick a throwing knife in, in my offhand? Would that count as dual wielding? Dual wield throwing knives.
And Prometheus is flame. Mm, no. There's a. Uh, it's. Uh, there's ups, there's downs to that. It's either not just a straight upgrade. I don't f hmm. It's hard for me to judge this game right now. It feels not as, um... I know, I don't feel as brought into it as uh, with, um... Grim Dawn. Uh, you know, some things kind of really draw you into it better. But, again, I'm in a funk, so it would be unfair for me to judge it. Enchanted Shields. That's really goddamn nice. I'll never be able to use it now because of the way I spanked, but that is nice. Christ. Stuns enemies, hmm. Oh, and that also increases attack speed? Christ. Fucking dervish. Seems if I go between the houses.
I'm sorry I'm not talking much. It's just, since I'm in a funk, I'm just kind of focusing, putting all my focus on the game. Because I know if I talk, I'm probably going to sound bored out of my mind. Like, it's a fine game. It just me that's off. I, I, and that, I'll be the same way with any game. Maybe I'll be more into Fallout 3. But there's also a fair chance I will be bored out of my mind with that too. Sometimes I get like this where I really want to play a particular game. But I also don't want to play it. And I don't want to play anything else. But I want to play something. And it's, oh, it's so God, damn frustrating. Maybe if I talk more, I'll enjoy it. I'll feel better. I like talking. Uh, give to the gab. The Blarney Stone comes and kisses my ass to give pe people that blessing. It was a fair spot. Beasts and men, you understand. Then a giant cyclops, growling and bellowing, came and smashed the bridge. We're working hard, but it'll be days yet before the road to Athens is clear. Uh huh. You'll be able to cross after we're done repairing the bridge. A few days now. You should have seen it. Three swipes of each cudgel, and the bridge went tumbling. The bridge isn't repaired yet. You'll just have to go somewhere else. The bridge isn't repaired. The NPC logo was different, but new. Helm. I need to get a better hat, but that's not what I need. I'm just noticing, like, all the world is open. We haven't gone into any separate caves or whatever, like Grim Dawn. It's an observation. I don't really have any opinion negatively or positively. On some level, it does feel weird not to have phased, phased little bits like that, but really, it makes no difference. Might lead to better performance, you know, having it all phased, you know, secluded like that, but, uh, I don't know. Just don't render the rest of the game map, you know. That would only really have an impact if they're doing something silly. Then, oh. Prince of the Bow. Wow, dude! Someone's enjoying the, enjoyed that a little too much. Uh, 
green bracelet. Green means rare. Mm, it's a caster one. That's a better helm. The only issue is it's an intelligence one. Hey guys. Mm, that's nice. 